I would wake up in the morning and the kids would get up early and they would want to come through to me and I'd just be crab it and shout at them a lot because they were waking me up and I needed more sleep because I had been drinking and and I'd shout at them and their wee faces would just be a look of why are you shouting at us mum, we've not done anything wrong and, and a few times my oldest would say to my mum I don't even know why you're shouting, we've not done anything wrong and I knew they hadn't done anything wrong other than wake up and get out of their beds and want to come and see their mum I would convince myself at the time that I was in the right because they were up early and it was too early to get up and go back to your bed and it wouldn't be too early to get up, they would want to get up because they needed to get ready for school and nursery and even my neighbour upstairs, she made a comment to me um, a few months ago that last summer me shouting would be their alarm clock because I would shout that much in the morning. I would walk my little one to school and I would be very aware of how I looked and probably stinking a drink because I was drinking a lot. I never had a physical hangover. I would never get up in the morning and feel sick. It mentally affected me and I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel happy or like I wanted to get out and do things. I just feel depressed and anxious. Everybody who knows me, knows me as a kind of party girl. I hate that terminology, but yeah, a party girl. Always out, drinking. I went from working full time to working from home um, due to childcare issues and bringing up kids. And that's when my drinking kind of spiralled out of control. I would drink two or three bottles of Prosecco or red wine five nights a week and it just made me feel horrendous. Got to the point where I thought, there, there has to be more to life than being in this cycle every single week of my life. And I just need, I knew that I needed to, to do something about it. I kept on seeing the adverts on Facebook of the One Year No Beer Challenge and I thought, I'm going to do this. And when I got on the Facebook group, and seeing how everyone was enjoying their life and they were going out walking and doing all these things and just being happy. And I thought, I want that for my life. That's what I want for me and my kids. I initially signed up for 90 days. Within about two weeks, maybe three weeks of being on the Facebook group, I'd signed up for the 365 days and I reached nine months yesterday and I can't even believe that I've done it. First and foremost, I've lost a stone and a half in weight. I walk a lot now. Um, I would say maybe an hour and a half, two hours a day. Probably the majority of the time, I think about how good I'm feeling. I've took up a love for cycling. I go out cycling, you know, whenever I get the chance. And now it's something we enjoy as a family. The quote I used to have before was, well, have the drink, because you only get one life. And now I think you do only get one life and I'm not going to live that life being under a black cloud of drinking and hangovers and anxiety. It's just changed my life and it's changed my, my kids' lives as well. <laughs>